so this painting is from a it's a, from a photograph of I can't remember what the name of it was what the account was but it's just like a desert uh, Mojave Desert it's from Joshua Tree National Park so desert ish scene and I'm only using three colors here I already mixed a couple just because I have trouble mixing colors so I wanted to get them right and make sure they're the right colors first so yeah so this is burnt umber ivory black titanium white and then I just mixed some shades of uh, burnt umber and white here so it's like a lighter the lightest one and a slightly darker version of that and that's just burnt sienna and white so yeah and these are regular oil paints again blue ridge oil paints and I already put uh, Alexander magic white so it's already on there so it's ready to go all right so we're just gonna throw in a sky here just a two and a half inch brush in this light burnt umber or burnt sienna color sorry if I call it burnt umber I mean burnt sienna we're just gonna throw in this all the way across a very light tone up in the sky and I remembered to put the paper towels on the back so hopefully you don't get these lines up and down sup Nate Ross oh hello quartz creation how are you doing all right we're gonna left right left right and this is just again a light burnt umber a burnt sienna I knew I was gonna mess it up you need a weird pet like Bob yeah I have a cat and she's kind of weird but I would never let her around these around these th uh, these things she would just knock my easel over and try to bite my legs that's all my cat does to me <laughs> when she wants treats all right I'm gonna go into this darker burnt sienna color so again this is just white and burnt sienna what are we painting uh, this is a desert scene from a photograph of Joshua Tree National Park so from a photograph using very few colors very very few only three and I don't even I don't even think I'll use the ivory black I might use it but I don't know and the light I think is coming from somewhere up here so this should be make sure this is lighter than the other Normally I put water in, but there's no there's no rain in this desert. Very dry. I'm just gonna fill it in with color. Just placeholder color for later. There we go. Something like that. And then I'll just wipe this brush off here and kind of blend out the edges might add a cloud or two but we'll see we'll see I'm gonna pull right to left maybe make this horizon here a little hazy go over it a few times because it's hot it's very hot 108 degrees 109 degrees on a good day a bit like kind of like the surface of Mars right here it looks a little a little red that's what we're going for all right so we got those base colors in and I think we'll add a little cloud just one maybe two let's see what brush do we need for this you can use the you can use a filbert brush for the clouds oil painting is fun yeah it is all right we'll use just some white here watercolor and acrylic you can't do the fun explaining thing <laughs> yeah Alright, here we go, here we go. Something like this. We're just gonna throw it. Maybe it looks like a sandstorm or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna mash in some color here. And then I'll use the two inch brush to kind of blend it out. Maybe add some colors up here. Just lighten it out. Spin the brush around. Just have fun. It's a good day today. Good day for painting. Did you filberts are my favorite brush? Oh yeah, are they your favorite brush? I really like them. 
I don't I don't use them often, but it is one of my favorites. But there's other people that feel the same. Alright, we're gonna wipe off this little brush here. And then go back to our two and a half inch brush. We're just gonna spin it around the backs. Just a little bit, blend it up, make it look like a big puffy cloud. And the bottoms, this bottom part I think I'm gonna cover up with some hills, because there are some hills in this picture. So maybe not hills. Somewhere between a hill and a mountain. I don't know what that's called. Hill and a mountain. Small foothill? Is that what they call it? I do watercolor and sculpture painting currently. Oh, that's cool. I haven't done... Well, I tried watercolors. I shouldn't say I haven't done watercolors. But I tried them. It was very hard. Something you got to practice a lot. I don't know. I haven't done sculpture painting. But that sounds fun. All right. Back to this old... This old palette here. Now we're gonna start, we're just gonna throw in some mountains. I'm gonna use the filbert brush. I could use the palette knife, but I'll just use the filbert for now. All right, this is just white burn umber. That'll be the predominant mixture of colors here. This one's gonna be farther in the back. I don't think you'll be able to see it very much. At least you can in the, in the picture here. It's a very, uh, faint mountain. And it has a it has one in front of it, so I'm not gonna worry too much about this middle part. I mean, we're not we're not worried about it. Just do whatever for this part. And then I'll take the two inch and just kinda smooth it out. I don't even want to see this one really. It's more of a hint. A hint that there is something there. Alright. And then we'll get this whole burnt umber, add a little bit more burnt umber to it, so hopefully a little bit darker. Actually, I want to, this thing's already moved an inch. Should have checked the paint before I started, <laughs> made sure it wasn't all oily. That happens sometimes. Sometimes the paint moves on you. You got to be ready for it. All right, we're going to do another little mountain, or foot. I don't know what these are. <laughs> Small hills, <laughs> or just whatever. They're just uh, something in front of another mountain. <laughs> there we go. Something like that. We're going to use mud color. I'll call these mud colors today because they're muddy. All right, and then we're going to pull. Oh, I went off the side there. I don't know if that's good. Just pulling the color around, kind of give it some shapes. Get some of the magic white there at the bottom. Pull that up in there. Maybe it comes. Maybe you want to change the direction. Maybe you want this one to be a little bit this way. And I can actually darken this one up. Let's do that after this. If you can tell, I haven't planned any of this because I don't really plan. I don't plan when I'm painting. I just kind of come out here and paint. At some point I might, but for now it's just kind of a journaling thing. Like on this day, I painted this. All right, and go down there, and I'll blend those out with the two-inch brush again. Just a little bit here. And this bottom part, I'm just gonna hit it, give it a punch, and I'll add some white there later to make it look hazier. Hazier, that's a word. All right, here we go. Back into this mixture up here. A little bit more burnt umber, maybe even more. This is burnt sienna. I knew I was gonna say it wrong. If I say burnt sienna, I mean burnt. If I say burnt umber, I mean burnt sienna. I'll get it right. I'll get it right eventually. All right, let's go to this hill. He's in front. He is in front of the other one. Then there's some weird. I don't want to call them weird. There's some different looking trees in in the Joshua Tree Valley. They've got like, look kind of like a cross between palm trees and uh, deciduous trees. They're very interesting looking. But I don't know what they're called. I probably should have looked that up. 
All right, we're just gonna shake this out here. Maybe we'll darken that up. This one I might actually highlight with the. Uh, it's not that close though. That's the problem. All these all these mountains in this photograph are very they're very far away. Foothills. Whatever they're called, they're very far away, so you wouldn't be able to see much of the much detail on them. Hi. Can I use solvents with oil colors for underpainting? Um, good question. I think I have used solvent with them for the underpainting before. I haven't had any issues. I don't know. If, I'm not sure if other people think the same, but I've, I've done it before and it's worked fine. All right, let's see. I kind of want to lighten this up a little bit and do a highlight on that some of this ridge just an accident make it look like there's some shape here something like this which way did I say the light was coming from I think I said the left side all right here we go we're gonna sock this give it a punch I think that's good enough. We're gonna throw in some, throw in our trees here. Thank you, you're talented. Oh, thank you, Dana, much appreciated. I think everyone, everyone who tries to paint, I feel like knows more about it than me. So if you have any, any tips to share with me, please let me know. I'm always open to suggestions. All right, let's go with, how light do I want this haze to be? Maybe a little bit more white. And I don't want much. It just needs to look like like a fog, like a desert fog. I don't know. Nah, it's not light enough. That's what um I was watching a video of Buck Paulson. And he said you have to test the waters. You start with one foot, <laughs> so you don't go in with both feet. You start with one. That's why I started with a light, or I started with one color, and then I adjusted right after. There we go. Now it should look like some fog. Or not fog, but haze. If that makes sense. That might not make any sense. <laughs> All right. There we go. So this is clean, that's clean. We got our mountains. That one's a little too steep in the back there. I don't really like it. So we can fix that pretty easy. I don't know if, <laughs> can you even see this mountain back there? It's just a little too, too much. There we go. Just gotta lighten him up. And you can also, um, you can take paint off too. I'm about to start my first oil paint. Oh, good luck. That's so exciting. I hope it goes well. Don't, uh, don't focus so much on what it looks like. That's my only advice. Focus more on the experience. <laughs> so I remember my first, my first oil painting. I was so, so worried about how it looked that I ended up just like <laughs> giving up halfway. So just keep with it and finish it and focus on focus on the experience of the first painting. That's really where the joy is. And know that your next one will be even better than that one. All right, let's go. We gotta start doing these background trees. What brush should we use for that? Uh, well, first we gotta see. I'd say those are brown. Great advice. <gasps> Is that the Alexandra art folks? Oh, what a pleasure. I always love it when they stop by. It's so exciting. I'm gonna use, I wanna use the one inch brush because these are small and this is just the Alexander one inch, one inch bristle brush. And I'm gonna go into some brown, <laughs> burnt sienna. I knew, was, I almost said burnt umber, but I didn't say it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a touch of this white because I don't want it to be the darkest, I think. Because it's not at the front. 
if that makes sense. I think in the videos I've been watching it, if the darkest things are at the front. That's what they usually say. So I'm gonna make these little, I don't know what kind of trees they are. They're kind of bushy, um, but they're not really, they're not really bushy trees because they're in the desert. All right, we're just gonna throw these little, little tiny brown trees here, burnt sienna trees. And these ones are pretty far. Again, they're not very close, so we don't want much as far as details go, I don't think. And I'm going to tap the bottom just to kind of fuzz them out a little bit. There we go. I need one to fill in them a little bit more. And we could highlight them a little bit. I think they do have some highlights, but it's mostly just uh, maybe we'll do a little bit of highlight there. But not very much. It's very coming from the left I think I said very very subtle you probably won't even be able to tell <laughs> that I'm doing it but these are very far away these this back line of trees are very far and they're, they're just kind of a hint all right there we go there we go now we got to start we got to we got to come a little bit forward let's see what we're gonna do now these are the and I wish I knew the name of the tree they're not yucca. Maybe they're yucca trees. They're not <laughs> I, re I read an article like five minutes before I started. I was like, I'm gonna rem I'm gonna forget this by the time I start. But these are, um, yeah, they look. They have very thick trunks, and then they have like little spikes that shoot out of them, and the leaves look like palm leaves, but they're in bushes. Like very hard to explain. It might make more sense after I've painted some of them. And this is burnt sienna that I'm using here. Alright, we're going to go, I'll add another one up here. Maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do two, let's see, how do I want to divide it? Maybe I'll do one clump of them over here, and then maybe a few more over here, because there's a lot of space up here, I don't know. Maybe I want to cover it up a little bit. I don't know. We build it as we go. <laughs> we build it as we go. All right, here we go. I'm just going to do another little one here. And I'll add the little spiky things and the the uh, leaves. I think they're still called leaves. Little spiky leaves on them. After I've done some small branches. And they have very small, like the branches on them aren't very big either. But they're very thick, so i got to make sure I get that part right. They're very thick, very thick branches. And they're very, very pointy when they have the leaves. All right, so we did those ones. Maybe we start with the script liner. Mm, script liner. There we go. I got a few of these. They work pretty good. I'm gonna use some oil. I just use a little dropper. Um, I found it works pretty well, but sometimes it gets stuck. <laughs> so I just take a little dropper, go into that burnt. Sienna, not burn umber, <laughs> and drop some drops of linseed oil right in there. And I'm going to spin it around. Oh, can't see that. There we go. Spin it around. I want it to be kind of pretty thin, actually. And now we're going to come in and add these little, little spiky things all over it. And this might take some time. We could actually probably use the the uh, fan brush for this, and I might actually do that because this would work better for the leaves. Although doing it with the script liner, you'd have more detail. So if you're painting it, kind of, it's more what you want to, you want what you want to do. And that's how that's how painting goes usually. It's whatever you want. All right, and then we're gonna put some little spiky things on this one. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna do the leaves because I only have these two colors. So it might be a little tricky, but we'll figure it out. That's just part of the learning process. I actually will try it. I'm going to try the fan brush just to see just to see what happens. This is just the number number six fan brush here. Might be a little too aggressive um, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, it's a little too a little too much. I'm not really a fan of that. I like the I like the script liner better. 
That's the, uh, what did I say before? Test the water with one foot. We tested it, we didn't like it, so now we go back and we can fix it. There we go. Might take a little longer, but that's okay. Hopefully there's not too much glare. I can't really see the screen from over here, but hopefully there's not too much glare from all the oil. I know sometimes it does get a, a bit of oil. Um, and it gets too shiny so you can't see it, so just let me know. Ooh. <laughs> Did too much of an angle there. That's okay. Too aggressive. All right, there we go. Just kind of smacking this in there. Just making it look like there's these little spiky things that come out of it. That's just how this tree goes. I, I do believe it is the yucca tree. After I after I'm done streaming, I'll go. I'll look up the name unless someone else knows. But there are these trees that grow in the Joshua Valley. All right. Now we're gonna go back to that old burnt. Sienna. Almost said it again. We'll add some, let's add some just like off in the distance. Very small to scale in relation to those trees. I could have done these before, but you can do them after, I think. As long as we're not going over them. Just the accent of some some of these trees. And there's not many of them because it's not a <laughs> it's a desert so there's not going to be very many trees but there will be a few and they just hang out kind of off in the background I'm just kind of tapping the tops of them have these really round leafy things so that's all I'm trying to tap in is just these round round ends of the branches and I'll come in and add them after this they're uh probably the last part all right so we got those in let's see let's see we go to the other side we'll add in some more do we want a big one we want a big big tree over here why not we're just practicing having fun there we go that's a very big one very very big Maybe he's got, let's see, it's towards toward the end. we got these little puffy branch things. We have a big one here. I'll pull this down just a little bit. This is starting to get hard for me to see the colors, but that's kind of the reason I wanted to do it. Cause I, wanna, I just want to try to push myself to focus more on the colors and values. Even though even though I'm like partially colorblind and can't see them, I can still practice and work on being able to distinguish the colors. It just takes time. All right, so we got the big old, big old tree here. We'll add another one, maybe right here. Little friend, maybe he's a little, he's not as big. Something like that. And then, you want a third one? Mm, sure. Maybe it comes the other way. I feel like all my trees kind of look the same there, so maybe we'll mix it up. There we go. There we go. Something like that. All right. Now we got to add in the. I'm gonna make this a little bit darker underneath. I'm gonna. I'll probably come in with the. Uh, what is it? The one inch brush. Oh, having a having a time today remembering things. Just one of those days. Sometimes I have trouble remembering stuff. But just scraping in some colors here. Darker darker values. That's what Robert Warren says. He talks about values all the time in his videos. And they're really good videos. They're I think they're only available on the um, Alexander Art website. Um, but it is, I think that's worth it because he's really good. He's very good at uh, explaining values and colors and stuff like that. All right, we're just scraping in some ground, gravel, dusty things because we're in the we're in the desert here. And I do think I'm not 100% sure, but I think burnt sienna has more red in it than umber. It's a more red red tone. 
red, reddish brown. All right. So we got those in. Let's add the. Uh, is there oil left on this? I don't think there's much oil left. So we're gonna add some more to this. We're gonna go. We're gonna add the little spiky things to these trees. You can add them however you want. I don't know. I just found this uh, script liner kind of works pretty good. But if there's another way to do it that anyone knows, let me know. I'll try it. Just tapping with the little script liner and burnt sienna color. Make it look like there's little spiky things hanging off the tree. Oh, see, we went overboard there. That's what happens when you try to rush things. When you're trying to rush. I shouldn't be rushing because I'm just, I don't really have a constraint today because the storms are supposed to have rolled out and we don't have to worry about getting stuck in the garage. But you never know here in the, in the south, so sometimes storms will pop up and ruin your afternoon when you least expect it. Alright, I'm just tapping in. Tapping in these little spiky things here and there. Now I gotta figure out how to do the leaves. I'm not sure how to do it with just these few colors yet, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Alright. The the filbert brush might work. The fan brush could work. I think that would actually work. Maybe a little bit better than anything else. So maybe we'll try that. Try it first and then then figure it out. Just kind of touching. Actually, that's exactly what they look like. <laughs> I'm just touching with the fan brush, kind of poking it, and it makes these little spikes. <laughs> that's what the leaves look like on these trees. That's, that's exactly it right there. <laughs> I didn't think it would be, but yeah, it's just little spikes on the end of the branches. And I might add some highlights after this, but wow, that looks way better than I thought it would. We're learning all kinds of stuff today. All right, we're just poking in. And I don't know if this would work with a brand new fan brush. This is this is an old one. Sometimes the old fan brushes work better than the new ones, or the ones that have been used a few times. All right, there we go. Go. Just pushing in these little. This one's going to be pretty big because they're at the tops. And then I think that's it. At least for these ones, we could always add in some more in these back ones, but they're more of an accent than anything else. There we go. There we go. Something like that. All right. Let's move on. We can add some highlights now, I guess some titanium white and burnt sienna <laughs> almost mixed it up again all right here we go probably should have made a new pile of this actually that's not too bad idea and this is just going to be on top and lights coming from up oh, left okay left side lights Just to make them stand out a little bit. And I don't know, I still don't know if these show up on the screen. Looks like they do a little bit. It's hard to get these single single value panes or single color panes to show up too well. Alright, something like that. And now we can come in and add the final the final frontier. Uh, burnt sienna. See, I didn't even use any of that ivory black that I put out there. This is all just burnt sienna and white. We're going to add some little shrubby things in front of these. Kind of tie everything together. Not too many though, because again, this is we're in the desert. Deserts don't have much shrubbery. They don't have much... At least the ones I've seen. Maybe maybe if you've seen, if you've been to the desert, maybe it looks different. I don't know. I'm just going off of one that I have a picture of. And I've only been to a, really a couple deserts. One time we went to Arizona to visit one of my cousins. And that was all 
That was dry as a bone. I've never seen anything so dry. I've never seen a cactus before that. So. It was really nice country. You drive, <laughs> you drive 30 minutes before you find a gas station. Man. All right, I think that was by. Where was that by? It's in between Flagstaff and Phoenix. I went in there. That was nice. I'm just kind of blending out the bottoms. Probably should have cleaned my fan brush before I did this, but I think it'll be okay. It'll be okay. This is a practice paint. You don't have to be too serious with these when you're practicing. Just make sure you're working on some concepts. And that's all that's all for that one. And now we'll go to this side. Just kind of pulling down, going left to right and blend it out. I wish I knew how to paint dust. <laughs> make my somehow make my paint look more dusty. I don't know how to do that yet. If anyone has a video recommendation for painting dust, let me know. This one for Dust bowl. All right. And then maybe, maybe we'll just kind of shake left and right back here, off into nothing in the back. Make it look like there's a path to come through there. <laughs> That's not too bad. It's a interesting painting, Joshua Tree National Park. I'll go ahead and sign it. I think I've done all I wanted to do here. Practice those trees, practice using two colors, trying to learn values. Next time we'll do one even better. Alright, we're going to sign it here. I'll do another painting. Should be able to do one more before I got to cook some food. Alright, put the date 2-2. Two, two. There we go. We'll take her down and then clean up and move on to the next painting. Again, this is only two colors, so um, burnt sienna and titanium white. Oh, I can't see it there. There we go. All right, there's the painting. Very, uh, what's the word, monochromatic? 